Hey guys, welcome back. Pop quiz today. What decor item do you see in all these beautiful spaces that you can also use in your space instantly to make it fab, regardless of your design style? Don't worry, I'll wait here. <laughs> now, if you guessed indoor plants, you're right. But don't freak out because I've got a black thumb too and I'm going to show you eight plants that are boo, no brainer care and if you invest in them they'll hang around, they won't die, they'll look fabulous, they'll make your space look fabulous and let's go! So my top eight designer fave plants that are total carefree. No, 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 Bob, not you, not yet. I'll cue you. Are, starting with number one, the fiddly fig. Ooh, designers love this plant. Oh my gosh, and how can you not? This little guy is perfect for any kind of space. Transitional, traditional, contemporary, you can throw these guys anywhere. They are just fantastic looking and the key is their care is super simple. They like bright but not direct sunlight. Don't get them too wet and turn them occasionally so that they don't get lopsided. But they get big and glorious and you can see them in beautiful. They can be bushy or tall. It doesn't matter. They're fantastic. They're so architectural. All designers just love a good fiddle leaf fig. Pairs, singles, they're all fabulous. Next up, and one of my super favorites, is the Monstera. And ooh, this is ubiquitous on Instagram. You see this puppy everywhere. And look at why. It's so lush and green. We are talking, this plant adds serious sexy to any space. Style-wise, it kind of screams modern. So it's best in like mid-century modern. It's also really good in bathrooms because it likes a little humidity. But they can get super big. You can see, my God, this one's taking over the living room. So you want to kind of like be careful where you put them. The care is simple. It likes bright light, which is fine, but filtered. So don't put it directly in the sunlight. Don't get it too wet. Give it a spritz occasionally. Oh my gosh, it's gonna go crazy if you're not careful. Monstera is a big green thumb lover. So next up is Pothos. Seriously? What are you doing? I'll cue you, Bob. Guys, I'm sorry. Okay, Pothos, let's talk about Pothos. Pothos is a fabulous little one. Kid brother to Monstera. It comes in a vine form, so ooh, if you're boho and you want to hang a macrame plant holder, ooh, Pothos is your friend and it's your go-to. They're completely indestructible. You can throw them in a dark corner. You can throw them in a bathroom. They are a go-to plant. I love them hanging off of a top shelf or something in a bookshelf. They look good on a mantle. You can do a hanging plant if you like that and that works for you. Great in contemporary styles or if you want to put it in a really formal planter and make it kind of work for transitional or traditional, you're good to go with any of these guys. Pothos is a winner. All right, so next up is cactus. Oh, I love these little guys. Now, big or small, they are literally living architectural statements. Bob! Come on, my God, now it's your cue. Clearly, they set up well in contemporary spaces. You see them all the time and they look great. But in their smaller versions, they can even be mixed into some transitional decor and even used for tabletop, which I love, they're darling. Their little unique shapes are so fun mixed together. They're so playful, easy to care for. Of course, they're from a desert, so they don't need a lot of work and they just need tons of sunlight. You're gonna love having some cactus in your space. So if you guys are liking these tips, make sure to subscribe. Ooh, it helps out the channel so much. So bang that button, smash that bell, make sure you sign up at lisaholt.com and get on my email list. And it's all good.
Ooh, now next up is succulents. And ooh, these are one of my favorites. And they clearly are for everybody else too because you see them all over Instagram. Think of them as cactus without the pointy bits. What I love about these guys is they're so happy. They have tons of different shapes. You can actually fit them into any design style, traditional, transitional, contemporary. It depends on kind of how you put them together. But here's the key. They're very slow growers. They're super shy. So you want to get them about the size you want them and then cluster them together. They like to be together with families. Put them together in pots, on tabletops, hang them from a wall. That's a great look to give you a little green feel to it. You can place them in single cups. There's a ton of ways you can use these little guys and they need almost no care because they're completely related to the cactus. They just need an occasional little bit of water. They're great. Now, if you want to hang in with one for a while, you can get this. Look at the size of this guy. It's a jade tree succulent and it's gotta be 40 years old because they don't get that big unless they've been there in a happy space for a long time. So these are must haves for any decor. Another one that I love that's kind of also in the architectural family is called the ZZ plant. It has some long Latin name, so I don't remember it, but ZZ works. And what's great is it's simple to care for, easy, looks good, kind of gets a little bit bushy, but you can also use it as a tabletop. You want to make sure it has a nice pot to it because it's definitely going to branch up a little bit and stay that way. So it's very much a cool decor statement in and of itself. It's good even for dark corners or bathrooms. So if you want to pop one in there, it's great. Goes in all styles, ultra contemporary, all the way back to transitional. So you're good to go on this one. So now the next one that is super easy to care for and mega popular is what they call the snake plant. Now, super versatile guy, super easy to care for, can take shady places, almost dark. Now, it doesn't get super tall, so you wanna, again, think about it with a nice, pot maybe with some legs this looks great together there's a couple of shapes it comes in some variegated styles which really can help add color and sort of flavor to it now this one sits firmly in the contemporary spaces and absolutely mid-century modern scandi boho all those styles will love this one so it goes in a lot of places and it gets reasonably sized so it works well as you can see kind of as an addition to a furniture piece or in a corner so this is a great one for that so now remember the key to working with plants indoors is what are you putting them in and that's your major decor statement along with the plant so You've seen a lot of beautiful pots and some other containers here, but I put a list down below that you definitely want to grab hold of, of some fantastic pots and baskets and all kinds of holders that'll work well and really help you make a great design style statement. And I'm going to link all of that down below. Now guys, given that plants are really kind of a decor item for your space, you want to go to this video here, which is home decor for your style, where I give you even more information about decor. It really helps fill you in. You can click right here on this link. Be sure and like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week.